a lot of praying through the times, but people who are having a struggle, you're not alone. There's plenty of us. Uh, so just keep going. And uh, my six years was hard, but look where I'm at now. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Uh, it's exciting to get to fly around this beautiful girl around, and uh, it was worth it. So I say uh, thank you for everybody that got me here. Kenny, good thing you didn't give up, even though you were broke, as you've seen in the videos. Uh, so. Yeah, thanks. Hey, day 152. Coffee with Kenny. Gloria's putting her hand in the picture. She says, oh, it never wants to be on camera. So, Captain Gloria's piloting the watercraft tonight. Day 51, 152, day 51. Day 152, this really is only coffee. Still early. Kyle Parrish, I'm gonna share a story with you and a fresh video that Kyle just sent us this young man is flying tours in New York City. Do you hear me? New York City. This video is for the naysayers. It's fun to throw this stuff back in their faces, right? Because they're always like, oh, no, you can't do it, and it won't work, and you can't get a job. Baloney, okay? The cool thing about this, 2018, I'll share the picture. I met Kyle down at Heli Expo 2018. At that time, Kyle had his private, been saving up his money to try to work through the rest of his ratings. And he was like, Kenny, man, how's a guy get a start in the industry? It's so hard from what everybody says, right? To get that job, get the time, get your turbine time. And at that time, I just said, hey, man, you got to, you can do it. You can get there, but you got to stay after it. You got to sell yourself. He was a Hogs member. I said, use Hogs. Learn as much as you can. Be as smart as you can. Be better than the average CFI because it's not that hard to do if you really apply yourself. Had a nice lunch with him and his friend Colton, another online ground school member who often comments here on YouTube. Hey, Colton, thank you for all your recent feedback on YouTube. Well, anyway, have a nice lunch with these guys. They're with Taz Christman, 2018 Flight Instructor of the Year. Brian Rutledge is there from California, our operations manager. Anyway, I go outside shortly after, right after, right after getting done talking to Kyle. And I'm outside and I run into the guys from Sevier County Choppers and they're like, hey. And I'm like, yeah, hey, I know you guys. Get talking to them and they say, hey, you know how we always have somebody going through our program? We have nobody. And I said, you're kidding me. You have the best program out there. And, and they're like, no, we don't have anybody right now. I said, you want me to do a video? They go, sure. So I go live on Facebook, put this video out. Hey, here's a company that will take you off the street all the way to double I, give you a job working flying tours in an R44, and then move you into a turbine aircraft. Put that video out, I run in, I go back inside, and here comes Kyle, runs me down. Kenny, Kenny, hook me up with this position. I gave him the number for the guy at Sevier County Choppers. He calls them up, within a few days, he's going to Sevier County Choppers to see him in Tennessee. They like him, he likes the school, he gets the deal. Now, that was March 2018. Now look at him, he's in New York City, flying a long ranger. I'm going to roll a video right now from Kyle. Hey Kenny, it's uh, Kyle Parrish here, here at uh, New York Helicopters. Just want to update you on my, uh, my adventures and my background, my story how I got here. So I started my flight training in March 2012 down in uh, Beaumont, Texas, Natchez Helicopters. Uh, like everybody else, I've you know, working full time, so I was flying one to three hours a week. So it took me till December 2012. Once I uh, got my private, I uh, worked on my commercial for a little bit, and I decided I want to go to Utah and get my instrument. So I went to Utah, started working my instrument, uh, ran out of money right before my instrument, like everybody else. Um, I had a dream, but I didn't have a good plan going up there. So about two years being there, I had to move back to Texas, and I decided I'm going to save up everything I had for two years to finish my training. I went to the expo in March 2018. I met uh, my man Kenny. He, we ate uh, lunch together and we were just, uh, I was venting to him and telling him all the problems and all the struggles about uh, finishing school and not having a job. Uh, he ran into Jim Garst, the owner of Spear County Choppers. They were looking for a student. Uh, so the next day I met with Jim Garst and talked about possibly the student. Uh, he told me to uh, go to Tennessee, check it out. So uh, I left Vegas, flew to Tennessee, 
uh, met Brian Walker, who's the GM slash chief pilot slash whatever he needs to be. He's my boy, Blue. Uh, I love Brian. Uh, so decided I wanted to go to Spirit County Choppers. So within a month, I moved there. So that was uh, May 2018. So from March 2012 to May 2018, six years, all I had was a private. I showed up at Spirit County Choppers and I got my instrument and commercial. I had an opportunity to fly general around Buffalo for three weeks. I ran into Rob Hefner, who is behind the camera right now. Uh, uh, we made uh, the same phone numbers and uh, came network between each other. Uh, then I went back and got my CFI and double I. I had an opportunity to go to Bell, uh, fly 206, and signed off there. Then I went to Smoky Mountain Helicopter by a Jet Ranger. And then uh, Rob Hefner, who I met in Buffalo, uh, he flies New York helicopters. Um, like I said, it's important to make connections, ask me if I want to join the team. So within a year, six years, I had one license. Within a year, I had my instrument, my commercial, CFI, CFWI, went to Bell, flew Jet Ranger in Smoky Mountains. Now I'm here in uh, New York helicopters, flying tours in the L4 around New York City. Uh, my advice, if I had to, if someone asked me a uh, network, uh, in six years where I, I didn't think I was going to finish, you know, a lot of praying, a lot of asking God just to help me, it kept going. I uh, started making connections, going to expos, started meeting people. Uh, it's very important to do that. Uh, if I wouldn't have met Rob in Buffalo, you know, I wouldn't be here. It's all about who you know. Everybody you meet, just act like it's a uh, potential boss. It's like, just act like they're going to be your boss today, treat everybody with respect. I just don't give up. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of people who help me here. But, you know, I'd like to give a shout out to Curtis Spears and Nessus Helicopters. Uh, he helped me get my private. He's always been in contact, helped me be motivated. Uh, Jim Garst, Brian Walker, Bobby Riggs, Smoke Mountain Helicopters, uh, Kenny, and, you know, just a lot of praying through the time. But people who are having a struggle, you're not alone. There's plenty of us. Uh, so just keep going. And uh, my six years was hard, but. Look where I'm at now. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Uh, it's exciting to get to fly around this beautiful girl around, and uh, it was worth it. So, I just say uh, thank you for everybody that got me here. Kenny, good thing you didn't give up, even though you were broke, as you've seen in the videos. Uh, so, yeah, thanks. So, there you go. Day 152, Coffee with Kenny. Can you believe that? There's living proof. I'm going to roll some of his testimonials at the end. He sent his three videos for, I believe, his commercial instrument and CFI check rides. What a nice kid. Proof that if you apply yourself and you work hard and you save up the money and you got the funds, you can do this. So for all those that say you can't do it, whine around, blah, blah, blah. This is number two. This went to Sevier County Choppers and did this. On my number one best-selling book, Helicopter Check Ride, there's a picture of Travis Gregg. Travis joined Helicopter Land Ground School back in 2013. That's when I first heard about Sevier County Choppers. And he says, yeah, this guy takes you off the street and turns you into a double I in six months and gives you a job. And honestly, when Travis told me that back in 2013, I was skeptical. It wasn't long later after, uh, this clear back when I was selling DVDs and I sent the DVDs to Travis. Next thing I know, he's flying tours in a jet ranger in the Tennessee mountains. Kyle did it. Travis did it again. Travis is on the cover of my book, Helicopter Check Ride. Both of them went to Sevier County Choppers all the way through, got all their ratings, got flying. Both got into turbine aircraft, and now Travis is flying EMS. So there's two of our ground school members that have done exactly what we've said you can do, and both of them did it in six months or less. So proof's in the pudding. All right, give us some feedback down below. Also, subscribe to the channel if you would for us. When you subscribe, click that bell, leave your comments down below, uh, give us a thumbs up for Travis and a thumbs up for Kyle. Awesome stories, both of them out there in the industry flying turbine aircraft, and they all did it through Sevier County Choppers. But they also did it with the help of ground school, but they did it, I mean, they did it. We just helped them. We helped them with a little bit of knowledge. Those guys busted their butts, studied hard, and did what you gotta do, and that's, that's like anything in life, right? It doesn't matter what job you're going for. If you're um, just going to half-ass it, 
you're probably not going to get there. You're going to have to work your ass off and be a little bit better than everybody else. All right, you think I'm going on too long there, Gloria? Well, that liquor give me just a little bit too long. All right, Gloria says cut it off. So like, subscribe, comment down below, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, when you click dislike, go ahead and click it a second time. All right, peace out. Hell yeah. Hey hogs, this is Kyle. It is July 18th. Just past my answer trek ride, and just want to say I wouldn't done it without y'all. Just want to thank everybody for helping me out, and uh, shout out to Taz for uh, always hearing me writing him and complaining to him. Uh, you know, Kenny for reaching out and all y'all done. Everybody else in the video that helped, so I thank y'all and would make a better video, but I'm tired. But thank you. Hey hogs, this is Kyle back again. It is July 19th. I just did my commercial. I got my commercial rating. I uh, want to say thank you for all you've done. I uh, want to say thanks to Sevier County Choppers in Sevierville for letting me come here and get my uh, license. I uh, just want to say thank everybody in the video. Without you, uh, I don't know if I could do this. I watch your videos when I'm cooking and cleaning, and uh, it's a big help. So I want to everybody putting on the hard time that uh, you got me to where I am. So I say thank you. If you haven't got hogs, get it. And Kenny, you know where to send my shirt. <laughs> I'm here at Sevier County Choppers in Sevierville, Tennessee. Just want to let you know over the weekend, November uh, 10th, 11th, yeah, one of the I completed my C5 CFWI. I just want to say thank you for all the help you did. Uh, uh, for me, hogs is more than just the online brown school. It's uh, it's more than that, every time I had a question, y'all always answered it on time. Uh, y'all made it very personal. Each person means something to y'all. And it's uh, very nice to see someone out there that really cares about you. So I thank you for all the help y'all done. And uh, I'd like to have a shout out to my instructor, Nick, who got me and other guys single-handedly through instrument and commercial and had a big role in getting both of us through CFI and CFWI. You know, you want to give us, what is it? This is Nick. Going on, hogs. So say thank you and have a good day. <laughs>